All right, what's happening, man? So today I want to go over five fragrances that are extremely underrated, and they're all under 20 bucks. Now, when I compiled this list, I will say I tried my best to pick five fragrances that I haven't heard anybody really talk about. So these should be relatively new to you, or at least you haven't heard about them for a while. Before we get into the fragrance list, though, as always, if you like the content, subscribe and ring the damn bell. God. Starting off with number five is going to be like a Liz Claiborne fragrance, Candies Man or Ohm. It came in a little blue box i found this at a rack store for like 14.99 now this stuff it's not mind-blowing but it kind of blew me away i was really surprised how much i liked it yeah it's nice stuff you know if i'm gonna simplify it what it reminds me of is like a subtle watered down version of like jimmy Choo man ice and i'm not saying exactly smells like that but the dna just kind of reminds me of that but like i said a little more subtle watered down very easy to wear pretty inoffensive Good for spring and summer. Good for the gym as well. For for fourteen ninety nine, goddamn, I'm not complaining. I really like this stuff. Longevity is roughly five hours off of my skin, so not bad for fifteen bucks. I think online I found this at Fragrance Net. After the thirty percent off discount code, it was like, you know, eighteen nineteen bucks. So yeah, under twenty bucks. Not a bad one to look into, especially for younger guys or just something that's really cheap to spray on at the gym or just kind of go heavy on the spring summertime. Candies, man. Number four is going to be Guess Dare. Now, I never really heard anybody talk about Guess Dare. I saw this at a rack store. There was really nothing, but I just wanted to buy something. So I grabbed this little bottle. I think I paid roughly 18 bucks for it at the rack store. Now, this stuff, to simplify it, it, uh, it reminds me of, of a really cheap, you know, very cheap, actually, version of some Blue de Chanel. Like, you know, it's like a blue... Okay, it doesn't really smell like Blue de Chanel. I might get shit for saying that, but... It reminds me of Blue de Chanel. I think it's a Blue de Chanel inspired fragrance. I think if you at least like Blue de Chanel, you'll probably like this. But for 20 bucks, man, what do you want? Performs decent off of my skin. It's an easy one to get pretty good DNA for such a cheap price. You can just waste it if you're not going anywhere important. It's good stuff. It's much better than it gets credit for. Again, I think this one was under 20 bucks at fragrance net i have my notes here i think what's the cheapest place for this yeah it was fragrance net after the 30 percent off discount code check it out again probably good for a younger guy that doesn't want to spend a lot of money if you're somebody that has you know a bigger collection this might be a little bit redundant for you but for younger guys don't want to spend a lot of money guess there is a good option to get some nice mature dna for a very good price number three is going to be this usher ohm now this one really impressed me and still does to this day i still wear it from time to time yeah this is really good for the price this stuff again i heard nothing about this before i just saw it at the rack store and just grabbed it i'm really impressed with this one and why it doesn't get more love i have no idea maybe people are just passing it when they see it because it's like an usher fragrance what this reminds me of is something along the lines of polo red without the coffee Again, that's just oversimplifying it. I'm not saying it's a clone of that, but it really reminds me of something in the Polo Red DNA, but just doesn't have the coffee. Very, very good stuff. Very luxurious scent for the price. Again, under 20 bucks. This stuff is really, really impressive to me. Roughly five hours off of my skin again. You know, even if you're somebody with a pretty good collection, you probably like this stuff. This is something that I think even like a fragrance snob might like. It's really good for the price. Check this one out if you haven't already. It's always in the rack stores. Usher Ohm. Comes in like just a white box. Number two is actually going to be Banana Republic Modern. Now this stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, again, I heard really nothing about. Just blind bought it because it was sitting there. This stuff, <laughs> I wear this from time to time and, and I always forget how much I love it. And then when I wear it again, I'm, just, I'm always blown away. Very, very good stuff. Man, this is nice. It's like... It's just nice, just sweetness, the grapefruit, citrus. It smells like, I don't think lavender's listed, but it almost feels like it has some lavender in there. It's just really nice stuff. This one's very uplifting. It's going to put a smile on your face, in my opinion. It just, oh my God, it's something else. Slightly, slightly musky, woody in the base, but it's just got such a brightness up top. And I was really impressed by this stuff. I think a small one ounce bottle you can find online for under 20 bucks um this one is very underrated nobody really talks about this and it is a very sharp sweet citrus very uplifting fragrance get your nose on this one if you haven't already banana republic modern 
And number one for me is going to be this Perry Ellis portfolio, just the silver one. I'm not going to even spray this because it's so damn strong. This stuff is like a lavender bomb. When I blind bought this at Ross, I don't remember what I paid, but I know it was under 20 bucks. And I got out to the car and sprayed this, and I was literally blown away. This shit is a bombshell off of my skin. Lavender, I think there's even some pear in this. Very sexy, sweet pear and lavender. I mean, there's more notes than that, but that's what stands out the most to me. This stuff performs like a beast off of my skin. I get eight hours easy off of this. Tons of compliments. Projection is beastly. It is a very, very good fragrance for the price. Why more people aren't talking about this, I have no idea. If you haven't smelled this, you need to get your hands on it. It's always at the rack stores. Again, under 20 bucks. Younger guys, older guys, people with beginning collections or very advanced collections, this one belongs in your rotation. I just can't say enough good stuff. Once you wear it, you're going to love it. It's beastly, like I said, for 20 bucks. I can ramble for hours on this stuff. Get your hands on that one if you haven't already because it's well worth the money. It's a masterpiece that just isn't getting enough love. All right, guys, quick video, relatively quick video to go over five fragrances that nobody's really talking about. Like the video. If you like the damn video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, God bless. Be well. Boom! I'm out.